Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares. Chef Ramsay, Chef Ramsay. Chef Ramsay makes his inaugural trip to Pittsburgh. Oh my God. Where he tries to turn around a failing soul food restaurant. Soul food? Oh, you said that on death row. The owner, Miss Jean, is also known as Miss Mean. Look at this. How can somebody mishandle bread? Ooh. She yells at her staff. Everybody always late. Uh-uh. And the staff yells back. You told me not to leave my post box. That is Miss Jean's philosophy is the customer isn't always right. There's a problem with the mac and cheese. No, a lady line. As for her menu, oh my god, it's a disaster. It's drier than the Sahara Desert. And the only steady customers at Miss Jean's seems to be the flies. The fly. Chef Ramsay faces a massive challenge. Has there been a robbery here? As he goes looking for the soul in this soulless restaurant. The restaurant looks like a prison cafeteria. Can Chef Ramsay save Miss Jean's southern cuisine? You've all fallen out of love. Or has the restaurant gone too far south? Stop! Everybody stop! I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore! That's tonight. This is a disaster. On Kitchen Nightmares. It's killing me! I can't continue to do it no more! What is that? You're serving rotten food. You can possibly kill them. Then wake up! You wake up! <coughs> Shut the place down! Get out of here! That is amazing! What is this? Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania, located right outside Pittsburgh, is home to Miss Jean's Southern Cuisine, opened by Jean Gould, a retired special education teacher. I love to cook, and then when I started doing it at my church, everybody wanted me to make food. Miss Jean, you have to cook this, you have to cook that. Cheese sauce is ready. They're the ones that really encourage me to open up a restaurant. You'll love her food, trust me. <laughs> that Mac should be ready to come out. Very good. She's the type of person that will always help you if you're in a band or if you need help. You sure you feel better? Because we don't want you working sick. But, oh wow, how can I explain this? She has an attitude problem. If I catch you on your phone, it's considered your 15 minute break. No exception, unless you fell on the floor and there's nobody in here, and you can't get up. Miss Jean's like Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hatt. Who cut the steam tables on? Y'all gotta pay attention. Somebody write these orders like kindergarten students. Don't mean because a lot of my staff is lazy. I don't think it, I know it. Uh-uh, uh-uh, sister. Where are you coming from? You can't from? be standing back here in the kitchen on your phone. Let me call you back right after kill I mean, that's kid. not right, you just can't do that. I have to go and tell them four or five times, you need to do this, you need to check this, you need to check that. All right, there's a problem with the mac and cheese. They said it's overcooked and they want some more. I don't want to hear it. When she's dealing with a customer complaint, she could be known to get a little bit nasty. She said this is like eating a potato chip. A lady lying. Sometime I find myself in the kitchen cooking and I have to stop and I go to the door just to make sure no one is out there. Wow. I don't know what happens. The customers are gone. Oh, man. There were several times I came in in the morning, and she's crying. <laughs> she's just crying. And then I'm getting a frog. <laughs> she, um, she'd be like, she owes so much, she's scared. I'm really in need of help to the point I don't. Excuse me. I don't know what I would do. I don't even know where else I would go to seek out. All I know if I put my whole life, my whole life savings, you know, to see it go right down the drain. I don't know what I'll do. How are you, say you well? Just waiting for my car. Chef Ramsay, Chef Ramsay. Hi, I'm Jean. You're coming to my restaurant. Can I uh, speak to you a minute, uh, please? I'm supposed to be coming to see you. Please. Okay. I brought you a peach cobbler. I need to see you a few minutes before you get to my restaurant. OK, uh, let's get through there. OK. Jeez. All my whole life, all I've ever did was help someone else. Let's take a seat over here. And now I'm really, really in need of help. First of all, how long have you had the restaurant? I had the restaurant about 12 years. And before you ran the business, what were you doing? 
Oh, I taught uh, disabled kids and adults, and I did that for about 25 years. Tough job. It is. So, coming out of that kind of role, mm -hmm. talk to me about your restaurant. What is it? The food. How do you rate that on a scale of 1 to 10? I'm saying 8. 8? Yes. Okay. The biggest problem is my staff. Because they're trying to cook with one hand and be on a cell phone with another hand, what? or taking more breaks and gossiping and talking and being late, or just don't show. And it's just not helping me keep my restaurant where it needs to be. I am in big, big debt because I can't keep enough clientele in a right. restaurant. I mean, I am going through so much right now. I really don't know if I'm going to make it out through the month. I just don't have the money. So every day, I do everything. I waitress, I'm the manager, mm -hmm. I cook. Which is crazy. Because that's how bad it is right now. I just really need your help. I'm on the edge. I really, really need help. I can't do mm -hmm. it. I can't. I, I appreciate you coming here to see me. Thank you for the update. Don't get upset. I can't help. It's been so hard. I just don't know what to do. Listen, I'm here to help, Miss Jeannie. OK? OK. I totally get it. OK, thank you. OK. I'm going to jump in my car, get back there, and I'll have a meeting with the staff. Come on. OK, thank you. OK. rainy in Pittsburgh, but if there's one thing that can pick me up, it's some good soul food. Wow. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my goodness me. Anyone in? Hello? Here's the car. Oh, my goodness. I'm proper evidence. I'm scared to go out there. I can't handle it. We're about to pass out. Oh, my God. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good to see you. You too, I'm Marissa. I'll Marissa, good to Marissa. see you. Marissa, my goodness me. Was there a, uh, a robbery last night? There's nothing in there. That's our dessert display over wow. there. That is grim. <laughs> the restaurant looks like a prison cafeteria. It's just embarrassing. I mean, Chef Ramsay's coming in asking, when was the robbery? Oh, dear. Ouch. Hello. Nice to see you. And first name is? Joni. Joni. Right, glad you came. Good yeah. to see you. I'd like to have a quick get-together with the staff. OK. Can you go to the kitchen yes, and call sir. everybody out? Yes, I will. Uh, without Miss Jean? Yes, sir. Everyone to the front. We have a meeting. Come over, come over. Everybody, come through. Great. And first name is? Chef Mike. Chef Mike. Mm -hmm. How are you, my darling? Hello. And this is? Chanel. Chanel. Come over here so we all stick together. Now that Chef Ramsay is here, I'm ready to talk about everything that's wrong. Believe you me. <laughs> um, first of all, Miss Jeannie came to see me this morning. The biggest problem, from her point of view, was the staff. Oh, my. Why would she blame the staff for the problems in the restaurant? To get all the blame off of her. Yes. Yes. Why would she pass the blame on to you? She has sort of an attitude problem. She's just mean. Mean. Mrs. Jean, pillar of the community for the last 20 years, she's mean? Yes. She's mean to the customers sometimes. Mean to the customers? And employees too. Yes. I don't believe it. Sometimes I thought she has split personality. Wow. You got the nitpicking Miss Jane where you just want to throw your hands up and be like, I'm leaving. Then you got nice Miss Jane. I mean, I'm really confused. Miss Jean blamed you guys as the issue. And what you're telling me is completely different. So let me go and get her. Miss Jean. Yes. You got two seconds? Oh, wow. Um, so I'm I'm a little confused. Miss Jean, you told me the big issue here was the staff. That's not the case from their point of view. They're saying that you have a mean streak. Are you mean? I don't think it's a mean streak. I'm a very serious person. They're saying that you're heavy-handed with the customers in terms of the way they've been treated. There's a young man that comes in here, and he's like me and Jean's um, grandson. Right. It's not like my grandson. Well, I'm just saying, Jean, he's a regular. And um, he ordered pepper steak and rice one time. And he just told Miss Jean was a little salty. And she said, don't eat it. Wow. He's one of the guys that come in here, and his pants is hanging to here. 
We try to catch those guys when they come in and ask them to please pull their pants up, especially on a Sunday with all the church folks and the older ladies and stuff. Okay, I appreciate that, having the pants pulled up on Sundays <laughs> in front of the church congress, but whether he's got these pants around his ankles, he has a right yeah, to complain about salty food. Let's get that clear. Yeah. Yeah? Who's right? Who's wrong? Well, please. they're wrong because they think I'm mean when I don't allow them to do something that they shouldn't do. Yes, I do yell sometimes because after I ask you to do something five or six times and it's not getting done, I think I'm too soft. I need to put my foot down if you do something and you should be terminated. Wow. But no, soft-hearted me, I give everybody another chance. There's always something. When I go back there, they're on their phone. I mean, all gathered. I've been back there when there was five people on their phones at one time, especially you. No, it's not right. OK, you're saying that never happens? No. Every time your phone vibrates, you go to the bathroom 15 and times really a day. I really go to the bathroom. I follow her to the bathroom. And you heard me talking yeah. one time. One Several time. Several times. No. You never know when no. I'm following you. I drink like over two gallons of water a day. The only way you drink two gallons of water unless you had hot pipes. Uh-uh. It's from the hot kitchen. <laughs> when you're out drinking or whatever, that gives you hot pipes. No, uh-uh. I can't deal with everybody's personal problems. And it's like, I'm Dr. Phil. Now I feel like I'm uh, Jerry Springer. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious. It's not funny to me. They don't understand. I am one person, and I have to deal with all of you. And I'm like really getting fed up behind me. This is crazy. And everybody always late. Everybody, especially Mike. Every single day. I'm very disappointed because I don't feel like they respect me enough. And all these years I put into what I'm doing, this is like frustrating to me. And if I don't get Chef Ramsey's help, I am going to lose what I have within a month's time. I really need his help. Having already witnessed the major rift between Miss Jean and her staff, Chef Ramsay is ready to try some good old-fashioned soul food. Okay. Hello. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. Right. I'd like to order a few of the key elements of any good soul food restaurant. Okay. First off, I'll go for the chicken dinner. Um, we don't have that available right now. No? No. No chitlins. What a shame. Uh, some fried corn, at least. We don't have that. Okay. I don't have the red beans. We don't have the red beans. The black eyed peas. We don't have that either. White. No. Veggie platter. No. Sweet potato pie. No. Mashed potato. Not right now. No. I don't even think we have gravy. Seriously, why have a menu if two thirds of it's off? <sighs> oh dear. Uh, you got pork chops. Yes. Bingo. Let's go for the ribs. Okay. And the mac and cheese. Okay. Let's start off with that. As the food's ready, just uh, bring it. Thank you. Though. Okay. Good ribs, mac and cheese. <laughs> Michael, please. What? No playing around. Mm. Ah. Wow, I mean, that's just like sugar syrup. Donna, can I change that, please? It's so sweet. How much sugar there is in there? I'm not sure. It's probably just poured in there till it's sweet enough. Yeah, that's sweet enough, right? I'll just go straight to uh, water, please. Water, Thank sure. You. Lee said the sweet tea is too sweet. That's like southern tea, and they call it sweet tea. It's supposed to be sweet. That's why they call it sweet tea. So depressing. What's that there? Two seconds. What is that bike? What's the bike there for? This must be an exercise bike. Is a gym here? Just no, just for bike. But what's it for? For her when she feels like exercising. I've never seen anything like that. Wow. How's that, darling? Did somebody sit on that? <laughs> what happened? It came out like that. It came out like that? Yes, it came out like that. Did, did somebody sit on that? No, sir. Can the lady not have a decent bun? Yes, she can. She can. Crazy. Wow. Miss Jean, what is this? 
please tell me that the bun didn't go out looking like I that. I just, honestly, really, I really didn't look. I, I cannot believe that. Look at this And then y'all be talking about, it's me. Who was in something out there looking like this? Look at that. I mean, come on. I mean, how did they get smashed up the first time? I don't know. How can somebody mishandle bread? What's going on in that kitchen? Whoever threw them up, they, they don't get They just smash up, put it on the shelf. This is what I'm dealing with, but it's not stale problem. They don't care how it looks. I don't understand why nobody don't get it. I mean, come on. Wow. Chanel. Come on. I just put the three together that he should get, and you went and grabbed something First else. First of all, you told me to get this stuff ready. No, you, you got it looking like a slop plate. You see me wiping it off, Miss Jane. Don't get frustrated and take it out on me. But you have to learn. You don't plate food up and hand it to somebody any kind of way. Oh, my gosh, I am so underpaid. Is that for me? Yeah. Wow. All right, we Thank have you. the ribs, and the rest is the coming ribs. out. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. How is it? They have a weird saltiness to them, almost like they've been in a brine. Would you find out and just ask them? Sure. You think of ribs and the excitement, the stickiness, the deliciousness of it, but they're very salty. They said they're salty. It was almost like they were in a brine, and nothing was that impressive to them. They taste salty to you? No. This is soul food, and I really don't think Chef Ramsay know how to cook soul food. Just like I wouldn't know how to make food that British eat. Here's the mac. It's nice and hot. Sizzle. Right. Okay. So, Chanel, are you going to start the pork chops? Just one pork chop. Yeah, one pork chop. I'm scared to cook it. Here's the mac and cheese. Where's that been? It's bubbling away. Can you hear that? I... Has that been in the microwave? Yes. What, for three days? Can you hear it crackling? Yes, I do. It sounded like the little Rice Krispie Treats with the little elves and didn't look that good. Thank you. OK. Depressing. One thing that should always stand out is a bloody good mac and cheese, and that's just bland, overcooked, and just dreadful, and really bad. Don't cook it too, too fast. When you cook pork chops, you got to stand right there and keep turning and keep turning it. Miss Jean nitpicks. You just want to tell her, get the hell out the kitchen. Why is there so much smoke? I don't know. Might be from the grease. Damn. Something flew in my eye. Don't know, I'll finish with that, thank you. How is it? Mac and cheese, well, ooh, ouch. It's bland, there's no seasoning, and it's just cooked to hell. OK. He said to macaroni and cheese, it's bland. It's what? It's bland. It's good. Taste it. It's real good. I'm not gonna say the macaroni is not good when it is good. Is that my pork chop? You need another wow. set of soap. No, that's no, fine. Thank you, sweet. How sad does that look? Honestly, come on. How depressing is that? Are you serious? Could y'all please come look at the pork chop? Please. He got it sitting up. <laughs> I'm just saying, the map of America. It's down on the East Coast. There's California where that little dark spot is. In the central, Midwest. And we have Seattle. We're here. Pittsburgh. God bless America. A fly. <laughs> Chanel, did you taste it? If you gotta stand up, that means it's too hard. I'm not the cook. Okay, so I see you had a chance to taste the pork chop. Uh-huh. And uh, what did you think? Yeah, dry, like um, a mouthful of sand. Okay. It's drier than the Sahara Desert. All right. Even the flies, no longer interested. Okay, is there anything else you wanted me to get for you? Or? A wheel for that bike out there. That way I can get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> he said that this was dry like a mouthful of sand. He said even the flies no longer take interest in it. Is it dry? I still stand by my food because I put all I have into it and I work hard. Oh dear, dear, oh dear, oh dear. My lunch was a joke. And anything connected to soul, passion, heart, you've all fallen out of love.
I mean, how can a soul food restaurant miss the staples? No red beans, no black eyed peas, no mashed potatoes. The ribs, salty. I mean, a real weird saltiness because it's like. Season them up. You season them up. So they're salty and then they're sweet as anything with that barbecue sauce on there. And then the pork chop. I mean, I was holding out for the pork chop. It was dry. The mac and cheese, I mean, it was just disappointing. I think it was good. I think the mac and cheese is disgusting. Well, I don't, chef. Come on. You know, the macaroni and cheese, we haven't had any complaints about it yet. No, because you have no customers, my darling. That's why. We don't, we don't have any customers. That's why. And you want my help? Get a grip. I'm not going to take too much criticism about my food. All right. Go on now. I told Chef Ramsay I do wear a lot of hats. And I feel like if you don't like my fried chicken and he don't like my macaroni and cheese, then you know what Chef Ramsay can do? He can wear one of my hats. And that's one of them. That's how I feel. It didn't take long for Chef Ramsay to see that Miss Jean is in denial about her food. I'm telling y'all, I'm not going to sit here and be embarrassed tonight. Y'all might as well get it right. Now it's time to see how this restaurant functions in a dinner service. Welcome to Jean Southern Cuisine. Oh, Chef Ramsay, how are you? Hi, oh, brother. How are you? This is Am I'm Amelia. I'm the host. Amelia. You see me today. Excellent. Um, and that looks like it's the waiting room of a doctor's clinic. OK, Chef Ramsay. No? <laughs> Don't you think? Does it look inviting? <laughs> no, it doesn't. I feel like I'm about to get my tooth pulled. Oh, that's not quick. Jeez. I'm sorry, excuse me. How are you both? Now, are we looking at a uh, root canal issue? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, come on, they, they're waiting. Okay. Will you come with me, please? Yes. Good luck. Uh, oh my god, it is a mess. <laughs> the doctor will see you now. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Oh man. It's funny. All right, and how are you folks doing today? Good. Summer, I saw be your server. How do the ribs? I'm gonna have the fried pork chops. Okay. All right, Mike, how are you? Okay, chef. So, orders come in. Where do the orders go? The snips, when the orders come, they put them on a the magnet. On there? Oh, I've been in that refrigerator, chef. So you just you just you just stick them on there. That's it. Yes, chef. Wow, this is just insane. All right, cause Chanel, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get these orders out of here, okay? Follow my lead, okay? No, we're all doing our own ticket. Because we get confused when we share the same ticket. I'll do a ticket, you do a ticket. I'll do a ticket, you do We can't do the same ticket. Calm down, we gotta, calm get, down. We gotta get the orders out. No calm down. Orders need to go out. I've worked in quite a few restaurants. I've never seen a restaurant run like this in my entire life. The kitchen staff doesn't know how to run a kitchen, and I don't think that Miss Jane fully knows how to run a restaurant. So the end result is just complete and utter chaos. Catfish is up. Oh, Lord. Somehow, this disorganized kitchen has managed to get the food out. Yeah, it worked out. Thank you. Unfortunately, the customers are finding little to cheer about. Is everything OK? The pork chops feel like they've cooked for like five hours. OK. Thanks. What's wrong? Um, he said the pork chops were overdone. I mean, that's just, uh, man, soul food. I wouldn't even serve that on death row. Food is not coming out right. We need the food to get out here. Let's go. No more Let's go. Wow. Oh, this is so depressing. Damn. <laughs> I said, yeah, you really do need a job. I mean, like, I'm broke as it. So you're go. on your cell phone? Yeah. When you're working? No, exactly. no, yes, no. sir, I am. You're on the phone. I'm on the phone. It's exactly that. I am. Um, you're right. Uh, any reason why? Not interested? Uh... Well, because there was no customers out here. Yeah, no just ask him. Yeah, she's right. So. Staff don't give a and they're always on the phone. I walk out, and you're on your phone. Oh, she's talking about the people in the kitchen. Oh, the no, I'm talking about you you're on the phone. Me? Yes, I'm guilty. Yeah, there you go. Guilty. I want to get straight to the point. OK. Um, so why do you think it's necessary to be on your phone in the middle of service? I'm working. I can see out the window. Somebody comes, I can see them. Right, Amelia? Uh, when we see somebody, you go over there and get them. 
Wow. I can see out the window, chef. I can see out the window. <laughs> Yes, Chef. Did you hear the chef come out here and fuss at me? <laughs> Did you hear it? Yeah. He came out and he said, I'm doing your cell phone. He said, you just don't give it. I said, yes, I do. I said, there's nobody else. Uh -oh. Second time on your phone. Chef. No, 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 no. Right now, this lady has got the world on her shoulders. And the first thing she told me this morning was the fact that her staff are on the phone whilst the dining room is full. And you've been on there twice now. It's so unfair. For you to go back on your phone. I'm a volunteer. Let's make that very clear. Even if you volunteer, you have to follow the rules. I mean, I'm, I can't be up here to see what you guys are doing. What are we supposed to do? You're doing. I told you, I'm you, you back need, if forth. you need help in the dining room, I'd be happy you can to come do back. that. There's two people. I'm you told come me back, to leave my house. Come back That's and my act. job. All this time you I asked you that. not to leave the front is when she wasn't here. That is not true. And that's that is. Going home? Yes. Bye. Bye. Miss Jean, somebody need to be wrong now. Yeah, she can she can do it. She can do it all. I'm done. I'm painting with chicken wings. Please. Just a minute, let me get somebody to ring you up. Bye. That's what I'm saying, Chef. I can't be everywhere. They know not to do that and they do it anyway. They don't care. They know better. They know I tell them that all the time. Can I get you guys some more sweet tea? Chicken with some nice little dry. Oh, God. Do you want me to take it back? Yeah. I'll get you guys some new ones, OK? OK, guys. Oh, no. What's wrong? The chicken was dry. Oh, my God. Chef Mike, how old is that? Is that left over from lunch? Yeah. That's not cool tonight. That's, that's old, Chef. How does chicken get that dry? Guess from being under that light, Chef. Have a little taste. It's dry. Dry, dry, chef. It is. But you're just yourselves. You don't need me to tell you that you're completely upside down. You're serving lunchtime chicken, and it's dry. Who's paying for this? Mike. I... And do you have extra money to do this? No, I do not. Not at all, chef. And I mean, it has to stop. It really has to stop. You all really have to learn to follow instructions. It's just that simple. You got to have that passion for the food. You cannot continue to send food out like this, because it's my ass on the line. My ass on the line. Nobody else. The restaurant is falling apart. I can't afford it. This is my whole life. This is all I have. And it's going to hell. I mean, it's, it's pain. It's killing me. It's tearing me apart to know this is happening. I can't continue to do it no more. It's very embarrassing. I can't be everywhere. I can't be at the front desk watching people on the telephone. And I come back here, my food is not going out right. I can't do it by myself. After a dinner service that is fraught with problems with the staff... You going home? Yes. Bye. Bye. ...and the kitchen... You're serving lunchtime chicken, and it's dry. Miss Jean has reached her breaking point. I can't continue to do it no more! Keep it strong, Lord. Keep it strong. Come on now. You know you got it. You know I got your back. God loves you, and so do I. He come here to help us, and we, it's like we almost can't even be helped. Sit down. Tough day. Yes, Chef. Jean, I totally get it. I feel for you, but the system is horrendous. It is. Yet no one seems to care. I no do care. care. I care. I do. That's I why I'm here. I swear I do. But we have to work together. 
and I need your help. And I'm willing to, like I said, I'm willing to do whatever. But sometimes it becomes hard when I really say, I need you to do something, and it doesn't get done. But the system they're working against is yours. And the system is bad. Let me tell you, tomorrow, I want to see a bit of an effort, OK? The three of you together. OK. Good night. My wife, Chef. Good night, Chef. I'll see you tomorrow. OK. In the community of Wilkinsburg, Miss Jean's reputation has been tarnished. Good morning. Please, take a seat. And before Chef Ramsay can move forward with any changes to the restaurant, he needs Jean to fully understand this issue. OK, Miss Jean, there's a lot of love for you in your community. Yes. Unfortunately, that positivity is not shared by everybody. So, it's time for the world premiere of the other side of Miss Jean. Roll it, guys. Miss Jean is really mean. Yeah, her customer service really sucks. Just rude. We just had a really bad experience. She's not really customer oriented. She doesn't care. She needs to work on her attitude. She's me. I told her I'll never come in here. And I won't send none of my customers in here to you ever again. Because I don't deserve them to be treated like that. Miss Jean, remember this. It takes years to get a customer. It takes a second to lose one and you've lost one to me. Wow. Jean, how do you explain this? You have a tendency to talk to your customers the same way as you talk to your staff. And as soon as anyone in the business stops respecting their customers, it's time to close the doors. And if you don't, they will close your restaurant for you. There needs to be an attitude adjustment, but not just by Miss Jean, by everybody. My big question to you, are you prepared to change? Are you committed? Yes. Yes, Chef. Miss Jean. Yes, Chef. Good. I am anxious to make some substantial changes. OK? See you shortly. OK, Chef. Are you OK, Miss Jean? I feel hurt. I had no knowledge that these people felt that I had been mean to them. I want to make it right, and I will fight to make it right. With Miss Jean now realizing the damage she has done, Chef Ramsay moves on to repairing her reputation. He has gathered former diners, and now it's up to Miss Jean to do the rest. I appreciate all of you being here, and I want to apologize for anyone that have been in my restaurant and haven't been treated nice by me, because I really appreciate you from my heart. And I can't do it without you. I really, really need you. And I'm going to guarantee you will not be served without a smile. You're looking at the new Miss Jean. I was given another chance to make it right with my customers. And I'm just, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. Thank I love you, you guys. Love you too. Coming up. What the hell is Marissa? Chef Ramsay relaunches Miss Jean's. I want to leave. But will Miss Jean and her staff be able to handle the numerous changes? This is a disaster. It's a night that is teetering on disaster. Stop! Everybody stop! With Miss Jean's reputation already on the mend in the community, Chef Ramsay moves forward with one of his biggest makeovers ever. Good morning. Good morning, Chef. Ladies, are you ready to see? Oh, my gosh. The new Miss Jean Southern Cuisine. Let's go. Oh, my Come gosh. In. Come in, please. Oh, my gosh. Yes. It's a miracle. Miss Jean. Oh, Come here, oh. baby. Oh. 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 Wow. Oh. Come on. This place is gorgeous. Yeah. It is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Gone are those green, cold walls. Now we have that nice, attractive, warm, 
grey. It's bigger, warmer, it's just beautiful, inviting. With stunning murals etched onto the walls, it gives the restaurant a warm personality. It doesn't look like a robbery anymore. Look at the handcrafted tables, made out of reclaimed wood from a local barn. And that very picture there, that's the barn with these new tables. You've now gone from a 45-seater restaurant to a 75-seater restaurant. Wow. More importantly, this restaurant has soul. Yes. yes. It's a miracle. It is so wonderful. This is like a dream come true. I mean, it's a real dream come true. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. How beautiful is this? Oh, my God. My goodness me. Look what we have. Look what we yeah. have. Yeah. And you also have new Miss G. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. To go along with the dramatic change to the look of the restaurant. Take a menu, please. OK, sir. Sure. Thank you. Ladies, come in, please. Chef Ramsay has come up with an equally dramatic change to the food. Take a look at that. Presentation is beautiful. You think of soul food and the message it sends out, comfort and a bit of fun. Yes, it does. And the good news is, Everything on the menu tonight is available right. in stock. Right. Amazing. Let's start off at the top here. The appetizers. Catfish, po' boy. Oh, my gosh. Dressed in a French roll. Mm. Next to that, you've got the barbecue pulled pork sliders with fresh coleslaw. Oh, wow. Following on, the entrees. Slow braised oxtail. Absolutely delicious. Next to that, it wouldn't be soul food unless we have catfish, blackened or fried. Yes. One more little thing. We have stunning new china, courtesy of Niagara China. Beautiful. Wonderful. Great. Dig in. Have a little taste. I don't know where to start. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I didn't feel like Chef Ramsay could cook this soul food, but Chef Ramsay has proved me wrong about cooking. It just shows I could be wrong sometimes. I don't know what to eat next. I know. <laughs> wow. I think the new food is very good. <laughs> I'll make some more. These are good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. These are good. Mm -hmm. This is good. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. What a mercy. Oh my goodness. Who would ever thought to put watermelon with red onions? Miss mm. Jeans now looks and feels like a new restaurant, and there is a buzz in the town. Everybody wants to check out the relaunch, including the town's mayor. Okay, this is our table. Yes, this is your table. It's a lot different, isn't it? I love the tables. For tonight's dinner service, Chef Ramsay has reorganized the kitchen and has put Miss Jean at the helm as the expediter. When I yell at you, yell back, so I know you got it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let's see what you got, Money Mike. Okay, first order. I need dip chili, fried green tomatoes. Let's go. Fried the ma'am. Perfect. Step up. All right, how long on the fried green tomatoes? Fried tomatoes be up in about two minutes. Table two, I need two sliders. Fried tomatoes, dip, poppies. This kitchen, that never had a system before, is adapting well. Looking good, looking good. Sliders up. And appetizers are making their way quickly out to the dining room. Dip. That's a nice presentation. Oh, my God. <laughs> that sounds good. Really good. Oh. Meatloaf, one jambalaya. Oh my gosh, I need these orders out. Marissa, table 12 is ready. Marissa, table three. Come on, guys, food's getting cold. While the kitchen seems to be pushing out food, there is a lack of coordination between Miss Jean and the front of house. Marissa, table two. Marissa. Like, this is frustrating. You know, all your orders is ready right there. It's just hard to breathe whenever you, you just hear your name being called. I'm getting ready to leave. I can't take them. We were the first to sit down. I think we just got a slow waitress. I'm ready to go. The mayor's getting impatient, guys, yet. Yeah? Let's not screw up now. Marissa, I can't take this. I really just can't. I'm so stressed out and I keep getting yelled at. I'm so busy. Do you want to leave? I don't want to do this anymore. Marissa, Marissa. This is a disaster. I don't even want that hair on my face. I want to leave. Stop. Everybody stop. Everybody. I'm so stressed out and I keep getting yelled at. <laughs>
It's relaunch night. No, no, you can't listen. listen. Marissa! And server Marissa is having a difficult time. This is a disaster. And her tables are beginning to suffer. Don't even put that camera in my face. Stop. Everybody stop. Everybody. Marissa, calm down a minute. It's new to all of us. We have to work together. And this is the way that we have to communicate in order to get everything out. You're going to be fine, OK? You know, imagine a chef wasn't here helping us do this. No, no. Just be, you, oh, you're going to be OK. My name was getting called and like, it's OK. It's a good dying. thing. We just got to work together. It's cool, busy. Be fine. Let's go. It's Come on, big deep breath. Let's go. You'll be fine. For the first time tonight, I saw Miss Gina as a leader. She's doing her job to help her employees get through it the best that she can. Fried chicken yes. and the oxtail. I'll be right back with you. Oh. <laughs> Duh. I'll be right back with your side. All right. Yay. I got food. Yay. Jambalaya. Yes, ma'am. This is superb. Very good. Welcome to the new Miss G's. Enjoy everything because you know what? I'm loving it. <laughs> I am feeling terrific. I am feeling so wonderful. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Come on, guys. We're almost there. We're rolling. We rolling. We rolling. I'm real proud of Miss Jane. I'm surprised at Miss Jane. She used to make you not want to do it, but tonight she's calm. She got a smile on her face. <laughs> Woo! That's not the Miss Jane I know. Let me tell you something. Tonight. We made a major transformation in this restaurant. And you, Miss G, you handled the pressure and turned it into something positive. Thank you, Chef. Miss Mean has left the building. Yes, Chef. Let me tell you. <laughs> yes, Chef. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. The wonderful things that yes. Chef Ramsey said, I can't even explain the feeling that I have right now. Come here, you. Let's say goodbye. He made me just feel like just going on and I can just conquer anything now. I am going to miss you. I mean, you. I wouldn't give this up for nothing in the world. You are an amazing lady. You're a very special person. I'm rooting for you. Thank you, okay? Chef. I am so, thank you, Chef. I'm just like, I'm overwhelmed. Thank you so much. I'm not going to let you down. Look out I'm not going to let you down. Thank okay. you, Chef. And take care. Thank you. Oh, the greatest. Let me tell you. Rarely in my life have I met a individual with a bigger heart as Miss Jean. Yes, she lost her way, but I strongly believe right now she's on the right track. My only wish is that her staff are there to support her. Wow, Miss Jean, no more mean. In the days that followed, the mayor of Wilkinsburg honored Miss Jean for her years of service to the community. It is my honor to proclaim this Miss Jean's Day, June 3rd, and for this day forward. I am very grateful, and I thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you. The soul is back into Miss Jean's new restaurant. And Chef Ramsey, I thank you from the bottom of my heart.